Hey everybody, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to this week's edition of Match Play on PGATour.com. Let's get to it and say hello to this week's contestants. Jeff Rood, senior writer for Golf Week magazine and a contributor to Golf Channel, and Matt Adams from the PGA Tour Network, the host of Fairways of Life weekday mornings on Sirius XM Radio. Matt has the honor for topic number one. Tiger Woods back in action at this week's World Golf Championships Bridgestone Invitational. Matt, he's 133rd in the FedEx Cup point standings. Is Tiger Woods going to make the playoffs? I think he will make the playoffs, John. This is a golf course that Tiger Woods has won seven times at Firestone South Course. This is a no-cut tournament. Tiger is coming in motivated, and as we all know, when Tiger is motivated, that's when he performs his best. He came out after a long layoff, finished tied for fourth at the Masters, and a course that obviously he's also had success on. I think Tiger Woods is going to have success in Firestone as well, and PGA Championship, four-time winner of the PGA Championship. I think Tiger's going to get it done and be at the playoffs at the end of this month. Certainly dominant at Firestone through the years, Jeff, but uh, only a couple weeks to sneak inside the top 125. Well, I agree with Matt. Reason number one is that he's Tiger Woods. Then he's supposedly healthy. He's won seven times in Akron. He's jacked up about going to the PGA for his first major since April. And let's not forget, in his last full event, he should have won the Masters. So, yeah, he's going to make the playoffs. Great points made by both gentlemen and a no-cut event this week. So FedEx Cup points will be secured by Tiger. Topic number one, halved. Jeff Rude gets the first swing at topic number two. It's the 20th anniversary of Jose Maria Olafable's dominant 12-stroke victory at Firestone. Uh, Jeff, what's the most dominant non-major championship performance in tour history in your mind? Well, I mean, if, if you look at the numbers, J.D. Edgar, Joe Kirkwood, and Bobby Locke all won by 16 strokes, but none of them did it after 1950. Johnny Miller won in Phoenix in 1975 by 14 shots. Uh, he used to go to Phoenix and shoot 61s and 62s like it was nothing. Uh, to do it in 1975 against a deeper field than, you know, the war years, uh, I think Johnny Miller in Phoenix 75 is, to me, a no-brainer. Miller, at the height of his powers in the mid-70s, was a monster. Matt, what do you think? I actually think I'm going to turn it back to Firestone again. I think Tiger's 11-shot victory at Firestone in 2000 was the most dominant and the most significant because I don't think that history can be viewed in a vacuum. It has to be viewed in context. Here he was coming off a 15-shot victory at the U.S. Open at Pebble Beach. He wins by 11 at Firestone, then he wins the PGA Championship. So I think that 11-shot victory at Firestone in the year 2000 will be part of the foundation that is judged, arguably, for one of, if not the greatest year from year to year when he owned all four majors at one time that perhaps the game has ever seen. And an approach shot in the dark. We have to give that one to uh, Matt Adams, Tiger in 2000 at Bridgestone. Matt gets uh, the first crack at topic number three. Firestone opened back in 1929. Matt, it is still a beast. Which of the old style courses, if you will, regularly played on the PGA Tour presents the toughest challenge to the modern day player? Well, I think old style is a relative term because my candidates for the same, the first one would be Muirfield Village, which some could argue and say, well, it's really not that old. Would someone call the stadium course an old style? No, not probably. It's probably not old enough. How about PGA National, the famed bear trap? If all three of those were taken out of the criteria, then I'd actually go back to Firestone once again and say Firestone, because of its layout, this is a championship, major championship caliber at that layout from Robert Trent Jones Sr. Because of the undulations on the property, because of the strategic thinking one has to employ, because of the undulated and well-protected greens, I think Firestone is absolutely top-notch in a classic golf course. Uh, Jeff, Riviera and Colonial come to mind. They're shorter tracks, though. Yeah, uh, Coil Hollow comes to mind, too. But um, uh, this just in, Matt Adams is buying real estate on the grounds of Firestone. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure which hole, I think, uh, off the 7th fairway. But the no-brainer to me is PGA National. In 2007, five under par one. I mean, that's... They've had five Honda Classics there. The average winning score is about eight under par. No-brainer PGA National. Good information from Jeff Rude. A definitive answer. We'll give him topic uh, number three. Another good match between Adams and Rude. We've had a couple. They finish all square in this week's edition of Match Play. Thank you, gentlemen. As always, it was well played. Thank you, guys. Thank you.